We commonly use arterial lines for the routine care of our surgical and critical care patients, although there are quite a few problems with these. Things like blood spillage, bacterial contamination and accidental intra-arterial injection are potential problems that can occur with the standard three-way tap and connector that's currently used. People don't realise that the bacterial contamination rate of arterial lines does equal that of central venous catheters. An accidental intra-arterial injection, although it's uncommon, has devastating effects such as loss of limb and, in some instances, unexpected death. The non-injectable connector prevents accidental intra-arterial injection and prevents bacterial contamination of the arterial line. And this is how it works. This is the arterial connector on, our, on, on, on a patient and this is with the current arterial uh, line set up. You put your waste syringe on here and you take your, you take your, your sample You then take your sample syringe to do your blood gas and as you can see because of the one-way valve it act, there is no blood spillage at all. You then can take the same waste syringe and pop that back onto the end of the arterial line and you then flush from the, from the transducer at the top which will fill the syringe. You take that off. And then, you f and then you flush again from the top, we'll flush the line itself there. When we were using the standard connectors on our unit, we decided to check the actual bacterial contamination rate of them, and we found in our audit it was actually 9%. So we then decided to do a lab study where we compared the standard connector to the non-injectable connector. We, in, we put bacteria into both of the connectors and checked the onward transmission of bacteria to the potential patient. We found that 100% of these were colonised with bacteria and there was an 85% onward transmission to the patient. Whereas with this, there was 0% contamination and 0% potential transmission of bacteria to the patient. We find that in clinical situations, it's normally junior healthcare staff that accidentally inject into the arterial line. We decided to test this with a simulation study where we took junior doctors working on the intensive care unit and asked them to look after a, a patient in an arrest situation. They had to give an intravenous drug urgently and we found that 66% of them accidentally inject into the arterial line. The next phase of this project has been funded by the Academic Health Science Network. They have given us a grant to implement the non-injectable connector into 16 trusts into the east of England and we're going to use this study to be able to evaluate the product and hopefully promote this as a patient safety device.